If you are dealing with all videos blurry with low quality and you are looking to improve what you have, I have a very nice tool for you that works very well called Winix Video AI. This power tool tool take advantage by AI to improve the quality and the picture of your frame of your video and you can even change the scale. So let me walk you through in this uh, fantastic tool and we are going to highlight all the important features to keep in mind. All right, let's go. Here I am in the website of WinX Video AI. You can find the link in the description of this video. And this is the place where you can start downloading for free this tool. Now, let's start by opening this tool. I have it open on my desktop. And this is the first screen that you see once the tool is installed on your machine. You have three main features and options that you can take advantage of which is the image AI. This will allow you to increase the quality of your image. You can do the same for your video and for your audio. There are also additional features like video converter, downloader and recorder. So let's start with the main one for my opinion, which is the video AI. So let's open this functionality. Now something to consider which is absolutely important in order to use this tool is that it's good if you have a very nice device so you can take advantage from, from your graphic cards and this will increase definitely the final result. So now let's see on the right it's the the user interface is very straightforward. You have here the ability to target the graphic card that you want to use in converting processes. And down below you have also the ability to enable super resolution if you want high quality mode or fast mode if you don't have so much time and you want to speed up the, the process in increasing the quality of your video. Then, very important here, there is the AI model that the tool we, we is going to use. In this case, we have Gen Detail version 2, Reads Mode version 2, Anime, and then this last one. So, the first two are up to very, very good for uh, every kind of situation. The third one is specific for cartoon, and this last one is more specific for Photographer Pro. So now let's close this panel and let me show you the, the model settings that you have. So you can decide to opt for scaling the video two, three or four times or you can adjust and select the resolution that you want to have 4K for example just to have the, the maximum one but let's go with scale and let me target four times just to hit the the maximum that I can. Now another important functionality is the frame interpolation. If you want to add fluidity to your video it's good and nice to, to set this option and then select the target FPS that you want to have. This will add frames to your video footage and the final result will be that your video will be more fluid. You can also Target here the slow motion. If you have this kind of effect in your video, you can skip scene changes. And then you have also the stabilization um, function, which is very useful if you are recording uh, with a GoPro, for example, or if you are doing a sport along your recording. All right, that's it. So let me now deselect this because I don't want to add uh, additional frames to this video I want to just to increase the quality okay then here we have the video tech codec that you can select the audio the codec and then the quality so let me target here the highest and then the final uh, file generator will be dropped here in this path all right I just I just have a video here that I can reuse which is recorded with 
360p as a resolution and now I think you can immediately notice the difference so the the good part of this video is the preview function so before starting processing this video and converting this video you have immediately a preview how it will looks like on the right your video once is converted taking advantage by AI for time scaled and this is the initial where we start now another super cool feature is this icon here which will give you this slider and now check this out so as you can see the my face it's moving the slider in this case is definitely better than this other one and this thing it's a game changer so i think this is extremely important if you are a content video editor or if you are a photographer or if you do this for business so this is a very nice and incredible feature when you are ready to go all you need to do is just hit the button run and then you are going to have this result so you can also play and you can see immediately how your video will look like but this is very very incredible now I don't want to start running this process because it's it's fine that was just to to show you the potential of this tool now let's jump on image AI let me target this other main function and as we have seen before you have the super resolution panel here where where you can increase the quality of your image now I'm going to drop this image that I have here let's wait a tool that will generate for me a preview yeah, reusing uh, the AI model which is in this case Gen Detail version 3 and I have also the ability here to change model if I want and uh, now it's it's pretty done and also here in this case here I can see uh, if you pay attention you can see some pixel here but now in this on the right in this other case the image is more crispy and clear I am now targeting 4x so I'm very pushing this harder to the top to have the the best result that I can but I can also change the resolution if I want but the scale is good you can find uh, this option in the documentation what is the result by running and touching the final stage of the scale you are basically going to have a 4k um, in terms of compared to the resolution if we speak about resolution then uh, again down below you have uh, other and uh, important functionality like the face restoration here I can target this and then I can uh, play with other and useful functionality like the gradient overlay high quality phases you can also change the the color of the image you can highlight colors by selecting hyper color so you can start to play with these options to reach the best that you can as a, as a result. And this also is an, a very great and, and powerful piece of feature of this, uh, of this tool. All right, again, here you have also this uh, slider option that we see here, uh, which makes more easy to see the difference between uh, the starting and the ending so as you can see and by double clicking here you can see also AI what is doing here and how is changing the image of course you can also uh, deselect this if you see that it's an extreme use of AI in this case so you can make it more let's say polite so the tool will will use uh, less superpower AI let's say now I'm moving here and as you can see uh, so the image it's definitely better than the starting point 
All right, so that's it from a image perspective. For the audio, you have basically the same. You need just to drag and drop the audio and then you can listen what is what is changed. You have also the ability to uh, change the noise and the noise and suppress the noise if this is is present in your uh, piece of audio. What do you think about this tool? Let me know in the comment down below. Are you going to use it? If you enjoyed this video, please consider to subscribe and like. I hope to see you next time.